I know this to be true is an amazing look at the truth of 60 well-known or inspirational New Zealanders in the middle of their interesting lives. And Rick Salizzo headed this project along with publisher Jeff Blackwell, and he's with us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Rick. Yeah, give him a round of applause. <laughs> Love Rick. Good man. Good man. Um, choose that piece of music because it was old from the 80s. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it, was, it was a good, yeah. good piece of music to use for this book, yeah. I think. Rick, you've actually said that this is not a celebrity book. No. What do you mean by that? I mean, I um, like we're on TV, and we're not famous for being on TV. We're we're actually just familiar. I think I think the word celebrity is like one of my most hated words. Right. I mean, there's a lot of people in the book that are famous because they've done incredible things. Um, you know, uh, I got invited to a a, um, a dinner the other night. And it was a celebrity dinner, and they listed all the celebrities going to be there, and none of them had done anything. <laughs> um, so I wanted to talk to people that had done something um, that weren't famous. Um, but um, had, had really achieved something and had something to say. Part of this process, I guess, would be getting inside their heads and making them, you know, a little more open than they normally would yeah. be. Did you find that hard? No, it was sort of like a therapy session right. for, for them and me, actually. Um, you know, we started off by talking about the values that their parents had taught them when they were growing up, and, and then we talked about where they found beauty and peace. We thought, talked about... Um, what they'd learned, what was really important to them, um, and 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 uh, you know sometimes I ask them when was the last time they cried. Um, Good question. And yeah. uh, for John Kerwin, it was like half an hour ago because he's sort of Italian now. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Crying over his wine. Yeah. <laughs> he loves his wine. At but the Sir moment. Colin Meads, he said to me when I asked him that question, I said, "When was the last time you cried?" And he seriously looked at me and thought about it, and he said, "I think it might have been when I was six or seven. Wow. So you know, everyone was quite wow. different. Just looking through here, so these photographs are incredible. It's yeah. a stunning book. Yeah. You handpicked. The photographers are amazing. They're, they're Mike and, and Jake, and they're, they're from Waihe, and they basically spend most of their time um, taking wedding, wedding photo, uh, photographs. Right. Jake's now in India, working in India, but um, yeah, they're amazing photographers, and, uh, and we had a lot of fun um, sort of working out, because we had this giant canvas. It was about six foot by six foot, uh, which said, I know this to be true on it, and it was painted by a New Zealand artist. And we had to traipse around with this canvas all the time. <laughs> I love it. And uh, a lot of the photos were ruined because as they're taking the photo, I'm poking my head over the top <laughs> to see if they've finished. So sorry about that, Mike. Okay. No, yeah. and I bet you travelling with that canvas would have been a bit oh, of a pain. nightmare. Yeah. I was <laughs> like, I'm trying to get into taxis and, and, and it's like <laughs> thinking at the time, this was such a great idea when we started, but um, I sort of got a real love hate. And funnily enough, we're actually auctioning off the canvas. So everyone signed it, everyone we interviewed. They signed it and uh, and we auctioned it off on Trade Me because it's all to raise money for Play It Strange. Mm. I, I tell you what, we're going to talk more about Play It Strange in just a minute, and also want to know if you know after writing this book whether or not you've come up with a common theme that people that are successful and interesting have threaded through them. So you can answer that in just a minute. We are back with Rick Salizzo, whose latest project meant that he interviewed 60 well-known and inspirational Kiwis from across the globe who feature in his new book, I Know This To Be True. It's an absolutely beautiful book, make a great Christmas present. Uh, and, you know, I wanted to know, you're talking about Play It Strange, a beautiful relationship that you've struck up there. How can people help out and what is the relationship? So Mike Chan, who was the bass player of Split Ends and, and Citizen Band, um, and a bit of a hero of mine growing up, and he does a thing called Play It Strange where he helps um, uh, songwriters and musicians at schools, really songwriters, to find their voice. And so the, uh, um, a share of the proceeds from the book and, and stuff are going to Play It Strange to help Mike. Um, and, and also the, the auction of the, of the canvas, all that money is going to Play It Strange. So, nice. so he, was the, he was a big part of, the, of why we did this. And, and Mike's actually one of the 60 that we interviewed. Yeah, and he is an interesting man, isn't he? And that canvas, by the way, um, you can find on Trade Me. Just search Truth Wall. That's right. I have to know, and you, maybe you're not allowed to play favourites, but <laughs> with 60 good. people in the book, was there a favourite interview, a favourite moment, maybe? Um, oh, there's lots of funny moments. Um, really enjoyed interviewing Lucy Lawless. I mean, she is an amazing uh, person, uh, let alone actress, and she's done so much, but... Um, She's just got a great honesty about her, and uh, I thought that was, I really enjoyed that. But for me, probably, personally, the most special interview was, was Sir Colin Meads, um, you know, and uh, I caught up, I, I drove down to Tikwiti, I actually, he'd just moved, well, he'd moved a while ago from the farm, so I didn't know where he lived, and I thought, if I just drive to the middle of Tikwiti, someone will know. <laughs> and I went to the local rugby ground and walked in there and picked the first guy that I could see and asked him where Colin lived, and it was Colin's son. 
Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a there great story. And that is typical, I guess, of what is in this book, you know, just people's yarns. Was there a common theme? You've got 60 interesting Kiwis. You've got a lot of them opening up. Did you find a common theme through it? Yeah, I think the, 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 the most important, I think, they were all taught really good work ethics when they were growing up. They were all, uh, well, most of them had a huge amount of self-doubt but dreamed really big and, and that found people that believed in them. Right. So, you know, with a lot of them really, you know, some of our most successful people, even when they're at the height of their success, still weren't sure if they were good enough. And that's interesting to know, isn't it? I, honestly, six different covers of this beautiful book. Must have been hard choosing those six. Did you and Jeff have a fight over that? Yeah, we had a fight and then Jeff Blackwell did what he wanted to do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, thank you so much, Rick. My yeah. pleasure. And Rick's stunning book, I Know This To Be True, is available now at all good bookstores with royalties going to the Play It Strange Trust.